Hey, I'm Carter with Bells of Steel. I'm here with one of our athletes, Bryce from Calgary Barbell. Hello, and he's going to take us around the gym and just show us what he's got, uh, kind of how he got involved with Bells of Steel, and yeah. Uh, first off, welcome to HQ, anybody who has never been inside before. Cave On actually was part of the sort of up and coming strength scene when I first moved to Calgary in maybe like 2014. Yeah. So we had a lot of the same, you know, friends and connections and network and that kind of stuff. And when he started Bells of Steel, you know, we obviously went with him for a lot of our stuff. And over the years, like the quality of Bells of Steel stuff has gone up and up and up. Yeah. And um, when we, you know, needed to outfit our own facility. That was one of the first places we, we checked with was, was Cave On and Bells of Steel, so. Nice. Uh, we've got a fair number of Bells of Steel pieces in here. We have actually like an old prototype of the lat stack. Yeah. I think there's some, I don't know, some of the like pins or something aren't quite right, but this is because this was like a, a prototype that was sent ahead of time oh. that they then reiterated on for the product yeah. that most consumers will get. <laughs> you guys got V1. Uh, but that being said, this is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment I've gotten from Bells of Steel. I think the sheer amount of weight on this stack yeah. and ways to load it up and the fact that it's a nice small footprint piece that you get, you know, lap pull down and cable row from. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, really, really happy with that, even in its sort of prototype state. Sweet. Um, we have the Bells of Steel Functional Trainer here, which is also great. Uh, I found the stacks maybe a little light, but if you're doing, you know, something that isn't a heavy row, as soon as we got that, yeah. this was able to kind of come into its own in terms of the amount of load and all the different movements and stuff you can do on it. We also have the Hydra Rack over here, which is, I think, our most recent addition. Um, and these plates, I can't remember what, these are the machine yeah, yeah. plates. Machine coated, E-coated. E E-coated plates, yeah. yeah, and these are just, Beautiful. I, I just love the way they look. Yeah. I never used to lift with pound plates. I'm like a you know a bit of a kilo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, You're super elitist about the elitist. Plates yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but those plates look so damn good. I got to put them yeah, on the bar. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> they look sweet. Um, again, you know, stoked that this comes in a couple of different sizes. Yeah. And I think this is the collegiate, maybe. I, I might be it wrong on like that, but anyways, it's, it's more of a half rack and, and, you know, probably not room to squat inside of it, but you squat off the front of it. Yeah. Uh, because of these nice big extended legs, I'm not worried about it tipping squatting off the front or missing squat on the safeties or anything. Mm. And it's just, it's really, really beefy. And we got the dip attachment. So, you know, I, again, probably didn't do dips for like 10 years, but we got that dip yeah. attachment and I was like, oh, this is a lot of fun. This actually feels pretty damn good. I need so. to do more dips, man. <laughs> Yeah, I also, neglect them so hard. <laughs> <laughs> also, the uh, you know we were just talking about, but the the safety squat bar, the SS3 here. Yeah. This thing is is bar none my favorite safety squat bar I've used. It's uh, I don't know. I had an earlier generation Rogue one, and the the pad just got so beat down and so thin. Whereas this one's a couple years old now, and I've squatted yeah. you know well over 600 a number of times on it, and it's been through the ringer. And the pad's still, you know, perfectly firm, and it's all stitched together. That was yeah. another issue with the other one was it was like tied together with strings and <laughs> clasps and stuff, and it was just falling apart. It was a mess. This thing's been awesome. Really big fan of this. We have the plate trees, which are again awesome, huge, robust. Maybe a little hard to move sometimes. Yes, they yeah, kind of loaded. It impacts into, into the, the mat over time. Dylan really loves to move them around. Actually, yeah, I don't know why. He just like he's like I got it figured out, man. You push one <laughs> side, you pull the other, and he's like it's like his personal challenge. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to, to move them every so often With that when he's trying to get a different off. shot and stuff. And I don't know, he's got it. He's got it down. So there's a technique. Nice. Maybe an upcoming video on that soon. He's got a brand new power bar that we just. And then the brand new power bar. <laughs> yeah, just brought it in. Have not lifted with it yet. First impressions, obviously, the knurling is uh, feels pretty dang sticky, uh, and it doesn't feel overly aggressive. I think yeah. there was uh, was the Bear Steel Ohio bar. I remember just touching that thing for the first time, being like, "Oh man, this thing's gonna tear so many Rip hands your open." Hands. <laughs> uh, whereas I, I'm a big fan of bars that feel a little more like sandpapery. And I, th I think this does a, a pretty good job of that. It feels really grippy without feeling sharp and stabby. But yeah, I like we'll it. see how it goes. I'm excited to try it out. 
And that's that's about it for the Bells of Steel stuff. Here. Yeah, I mean we got a we got a flag over there. Oh, uh, we got the flag. Yeah, we got the Bells of Steel sweet. flag flying high. <laughs> nice. uh, oh, and the belt squad. The oh belt yeah, squad over there yeah, as well. Belt yeah. Squad, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a good solid product. I think that yeah we we've modified it a little bit we put some grip tape on there yeah, a little bit here tried too. to get a little bit of height depth. and some stuff like that but uh overall yeah yeah real solid yeah i find it just the depth on it is not quite enough you need like a little bit more to stand on yeah and i if i was doing this i would also get rid of this i, I was like gonna I, say i think actually the would, the amount that like lever a, comes back can kind of crowd the lifter a little bit yeah but, but there's always room for improvement on stuff like that. especially considering like one of the other things that i find really helps with this is squatting like right over top of the pin yeah as opposed to squatting out here because i yeah, find it kind of pulls, pulls you forward. forward uh and then if you're squatting that close to be right over the pin and that's pulled back like you got to be a very specific size lifter to to make it fit but yeah, yeah. i still use this thing weekly yeah and uh it's a good unit yeah it's takes up a little bit of floor space just it's, it's nice. It's yeah. pretty compact. So Bryce, thanks for having us along and showing Absolutely. us the gym. Yeah. Uh, we're actually planning a little bit of a collaboration possibly with Bryce. So if you guys are interested in something like that, make sure to follow along. Thanks for watching as always and let the gains begin. Hey folks, Cave on here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment below. And if you want any of the awesome home gym equipment you saw in this video, be sure to follow the links in the description and let the gains begin.